In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use banners, headers, and footers on Substack. Getting started with customizing these elements can greatly enhance the look and feel of your publications and newsletters. So let's dive right into how you can make those adjustments. First, you'll want to head over to Substack Home. This is your starting point where you'll find all the options you need to customize your page. Once you're there, look at the top of the page near the recommendations button and click on the settings tab. This takes you deeper into the administrative options for configuring your emails and publications. Next, from the menu on the left side, you'll find the emails option. By clicking on it, you'll be taken to a new page where you'll work on customizing the header and footer of your emails. Look for the section labeled email header and footer and click on the edit button. This section is where you'll be able to upload and change the banners. In the email headers section, there's a subsection titled banner image. This is where you upload your banner. To do so, click on the upload button where you can select an image from your computer to serve as your email's visual introduction to your readers. Moving on to the headers on your posts, there's an option labeled header for all posts. Click on edit and here you can type in a custom header that will appear on each of your posts. If you desire, you can add a button here as well. Click on the button drop down menu and choose the subscribe option to make it easy for readers to subscribe directly from your header. Remember to click on save once you've made these changes. It's essential to save your work to ensure everything is applied correctly to your posts and emails. Now diving into the next component. Configuring your email footers. For the email footers, look for the corresponding section titled footer for all posts and click on edit. In this area, you can write a custom footer message that resonates with your brand or provides essential information about your publication. You have the opportunity also to add a button by clicking on the button drop down. Here you can select share publication, a useful tool for encouraging recipients to share your work. Should you wish to further customize these buttons, the drop down menu offers a custom option where you can tailor make them. You're not limited to just one either. Feel free to add multiple buttons to serve various purposes. Before finalizing, don't forget to click save once more. That's it. By following these steps, you can create a cohesive and visually appealing layout for your Substack newsletters, engaging your audience more effectively. I hope this guide has been helpful, and now you can start crafting beautiful emails with ease. Thanks for watching, and don't hesitate to check out more of our videos for additional Substack tips and tricks.